today we're in Tewkesbury to meet homeowner Anthony to see how he's transformed his home so his family no longer relies on gas. Welcome to the Everything Electric show. This 25 year old property is approximately 360 square foot with four bedrooms and one open plan living space. It started in 2019. We got to the point where our family was growing. Uh, I was traveling a lot for work and we needed a second car. And I wanted that second car to be a green car. I wanted an electric car. They were starting to become more popular. So we went with a Renault Zoe and that led on to all the other bits from that point. Partly because of the influence of fully charged, to be honest, you start watching the videos and you start thinking, oh, I want to expand that from here. And I can see on the roof there, you've got some solar panels fitted. Yeah, the, yeah, they followed the car about a year later. So we got four kilowatt peak of solar panels fitted across southeast and southwest. Uh, and that's, that, that's given us a good uh, even amount of solar power throughout the day. Yeah. And that's helped to then provide some of the mileage for the car uh, and also helps provide some of our hot water as well. And how did you know how big a system to get to suit your family's needs? We'd done a bit of research uh, on the internet. It suggested around three to four kilowatt peak, but we really wanted to make sure we squeezed as many panels on as we could really to get the best value from it. As with most installations in the home, there can be some upheaval, such as floorboards and carpets being temporarily lifted, adjustments made to pipe work, a new consumer unit, and additional wiring. These are all things to take consideration when choosing the clean tech for your home. If you want to see, touch and feel everything electric in real life, join us at one of our fully charged live shows around the world. Next up, we're coming to Canada, so get your tickets today. So Anthony, some of our viewers may recognise you from our last episode on Mixer G. Yeah, so we had our Mixer G tank installed about six months after the solar panels had gone in. We had an old 20, 25 year uh, old hot water tank uh, previously and it didn't work so well. The immersion was right at the top of the tank so when the when the sun came out and shone it only heated up about 10% of the water or yeah. something like that. Enough for the dishes, that kind of thing. Um, we also found that it was all or nothing. You had to heat up the whole tank or another the tank um, and our lifestyle within our home meant that different days we needed different amounts of hot water really and it felt quite wasteful mm. to heat up the whole tank. So once I saw the Mixergy I thought well this is a brilliant solution for our home and so we've been able to set it at different amounts of charge and that works for what we've got planned for that day and the solar it works absolutely brilliantly it will come charging through you'll yeah. see on the graph this nice vertical line going straight up and filling the tank with hot water, so much more effective than yeah. on our old hot water tank. And we could use our old, uh, our pre-existing solar uh, diverter from the Solar Edge system. So I've noticed you've done something quite clever with the space you've got here with a vertical radiator. So after we got the mixed G tank put in, um, we wanted to look at a kind of roadmap towards getting a heat pump so we could fully move away from gas. Got in touch with uh, Joe, the heating hub, um, and she helped to do a, a kind of remote calculation, heat loss calculation, helped us to work out what we needed to do with, to our radiators to make sure that it would work effectively yeah. with a heat pump. So we doubled up a lot of our rads to, mm -hmm. to K2s instead. Uh, this one's worked very well for this space. So that was to help us anyway to get on that road towards mm -hmm. a heat pump so that we'd have most things in place by the time we took that final step. And when it came to having the heat pump installed, how did that setup all go? It went well. It went yeah. well. It was about three days' work in the end. Um, the guys were really great. We used a local company, Cotswold Energy, who came out and they, they did um, a more in-depth heat loss survey to make sure that they were matching the heat pump uh, mm -hmm. sizing to the property, to the heat loss. Uh, they assessed the system to see if they needed to make any tweaks. And then the guys came in and, and got on with it, gave us some spare heaters just in case we got a bit too chilly. I'm really happy with how it's gone, actually. It's kept us really warm, really toasty. And it's been, it's been fantastic to see just how little energy they use compared to the gas boiler that we had before. So can you tell me all the motivating factors for installing your clean technology? The big driver was very much about climate change and wanting to kind of play my part really. I've got two young children um, and it felt really important to me that I could do all I could uh, to try and safeguard their future really and, and play that part. But then it, it started as that and as it goes along you start to think well actually this tech is just better. 
it's, it's just nicer to drive electric cars. A heat pump works three or four times more efficiently than a gas boiler. You know, I get all my whizzy charts and everything with a Mixergy tank, it's brilliant. So as much as it, it starts about wanting to do your bit, it, it starts to become, well, actually this is the future and this is just better. So what financial and physical impacts have you seen? Well, with the solar panels, uh, each of the first two years, we saved about £300 uh, on our energy bills. But this year, because of the electricity price increases, we reckon we'll save £600 this year alone. Mm -hmm. um, so there's been some good savings on the solar. On the Mixergy tank, the, the running costs of our hot water has been as low as about £35 a year. That's very good. Which has been, yeah, yeah. fantastic, really. The way it's combined with the solar has worked perfectly. Um, we've got the solar car diverter as well. We put around 2,500, 3,000 miles into the car just from the solar panels, which again is a really nice saving for us, just yeah. makes for really cheap running costs. Uh, along with that, we've got things like the, the ripple scheme that we're with, so that's mm -hmm. given us some savings from the first uh, wind farm that's, that started generating last mm -hmm. year. So yeah, financially it's really helped with the running costs of the home and um, physically, as I say, things like the electric cars are just, just so much more enjoyable uh, and having the heat pump as well, having that more even gentle heat, uh, it's been much more comfortable uh, through the winter. Has one technology been more effective than any of the others you've had installed? I heard the CEO of Octopus um, talking about EVs being a, a gateway drug almost for, for clean tech and I really felt that so mm. getting the, the Renault Zoe kind of has triggered all of this and you go from one to the other to the other um, so the EV was really important but I think for the way that it enables everything else the solar panels have been a huge thing so they they help with our hot water they provide power for the car background usage and now they'll help us with the heat pump costs as well mm -hmm. so they just help to enable all those other technologies to work so effectively uh, what advice do you give for someone looking to install this clean tech i would say go for it and it is not just the environmental reasons they they are just better technologies mm -hmm. uh, don't don't believe all the fud and all the nonsense that's out there that's put out there by vested interests and the likes. So I, I'd say explore things. We've taken very much an incremental approach, bit by bit, um, and that might work better for some people rather than feeling they have to do the whole lot in one go. Yeah. Um, and I, just make sure you have a good look at the installers out there. Uh, we, we looked around for different reviews, tried to get the right accreditations and so on. Mm -hmm. It really does pay to get the right people in who really understand what they're talking about to make sure you get the right solutions for you. Are you planning on having any other clean tech installed? We really should take a break is kind of my feeling and probably what my wife would say as well. Um, but I, I, I'd like a home storage battery at some point. Mm -hmm. That will be on the horizon. That kind of feels like the last, the last yeah. piece to add. And as always, if you have been, thanks for watching. 